Hey guys, welcome. I'm so glad you are here with me today. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Shadow Collective units. There has been a, a release and I've actually pre-ordered all my Shadow Collective. So uh, we've had an opportunity to get uh, a look at some of the new stuff. And so that's an awesome thing to be able to do every once in a while. And so we are so excited about that, and I'm excited to talk to you a little bit about what we got. Uh, so I went on the ASMD site and just got uh, ordered my, my stuff today so that I can have it. And hopefully if I get it early enough, I will open and do it some unboxing and put together for you guys and some videos. But uh, this is just a quick video on the Shadow Collective and what we know so far. So here we go. I'm just going to take you over to the Asthma Day site and we're just going to go through. And so here's the box art. We had that released a little while ago, Shadow Collective starter set. Uh, you can see on the side, you know, a few, you know, boat of cast, uh, which is going to be a heavy uh, black sun void and a capo. Uh, you thought maybe they would, she would be a lead or two, but I don't think so. She will. Um, just by other things, uh, it would be nice if she is a leader. Um, I think it would be cool to make her a leader and a heavy mix. Um, but I'm uncertain by what things we have. Uh, we have um, a great sculpt, and there's two sculpts um, for him to choose from. And uh, these are some amazing little sculpts. They're, they they really do a good job. Um, and so look at these. These are beautiful. Um, you got your leader here, and so. Uh, we are going to be kind of cool. This uh, uh, the Maldalorians are kind of kind of bad, uh, like not bad as in a bad way. I just think they're just kind of awesome. Um, and so uh, then we get into our our Black Sun, and so we got the wonderful things here with our Black Sun and and uh, their Black Sun leader, the crime syndicate that they are, and uh, then we get into our Pikes, and we got our Pike Kappa here and our Pike leader for the unit. Um, and so here it breaks down the the box and you can see the two mall um, things one with the dark saber and one without uh, great sculpts we got each of the units that are in here um, we know from now that these pikes can go in every single uh, faction um, as as um, mercenaries and so you can see here they've got two heavies here that you can choose from the whip and the kind of a snipery looking guy um, but we also got like a stun baton here. Maybe these are the two heavies. Uh, but then you over here, you can see your leader of the unit, and you got some different heavies here. A black sun. I they um, can go in um, imperial and uh, separatist, and so uh, we learned that. And so the shadow collective can only be ran in the. Uh, the Mandalorians can only be ran in the Shadow Collective or the Mercenary Army um, that we know for, so far. And so it says, Forge the former Sith Lord Maul, the Shadow Collective brought together the most powerful criminal organizations across the galaxy. And that was some of the uh, my favorite episodes of the uh, um, Clone War cartoon. Um, the army started for Star Wars Legion contains everything you need to begin a shadow collective including one maul one rook cast one black F sun enforcer unit and black sun vega one pike syndicate foot soldier unit and pike syndicate kappa unit one mandalorian super commando unit um, along with a new unit upgrade cards to fill the battle um, this contains everything you need and so uh, it says down here 22 plastic minifigures, six unit cards. So one and two, one and two, one and two. And, but then there is Maul. So maybe there's a typo, maybe there's actually seven, or she's just a heavy. That's the question here. Uh, 30 upgrade cards, 43 assorted tokens, and one insert sheet. Now, one thing they didn't mention here, and it, it's got to be a typo here because. Um, they didn't mention any order cards. So why would you have them all without any order cards? So it kind of makes no sense to not have order cards, um, but they didn't mention any order cards. And so that's one thing that I'm kind of wondering about because you think for sure that they would have um, their order tokens and, and 
uh, stuff like that. Now, uh, there's some other related items. And so I'm just going to go take a look, show you some of the other things that are coming out with this wave. Uh, some pretty cool stuff, actually. And so here we got um, the essential kit. Now, this is kind of cool. Now, one thing about we know about the essential kit here, you can see they've redid um, the the uh, victory tokens. Um, they are now the tokens that you, the medals that you got uh, at the end of the battle um, where they, they handed them out to the rebels and stuff. Uh, so they've just rebranded some of that. But also, um, you can see some of the things that are in the essential tokens. Uh, there is another shot that not actually on this site that shows um, if you go to uh, Comic Mass site, it shows the other things in it. They got dice in there. They've got range rulers and movement tools. Uh, but the big thing that's important about the essential kit is they are releasing, um, redoing all the battle cards, but also giving you the um, cards that you need to play scrimmage. So if you don't have those 12 cards, uh, like real hard copies, and you just printed them out, um, you're going to get those scrimmage cards. So I ordered one of these just because of those scrimmage cards. Um, and they're not that, this was not that expensive. So like it didn't, it didn't really set me back that much, as you can see, $29. Let's go to the next one here, and that's Gar Saxon. There we go, Gar Saxon. He's got two sculpts, which are kind of cool. I love this little shield, but he's also got a nice rifle here. And so there we go, the second sculpt. And look at that nice little scruffy hair. And, you know, if you're going to paint him like a the... Imperial one, this is the one you want to go with, and you can paint that armory white, but uh, it's just really cool. I don't have cards out for that yet. Here you are. It tells you what it contains there. You know, it's one plastic miniature, one unit card, three command cards, seven upgrade cards, and tokens, and an insert sheet. I really love the way they tell us there's an insert sheet all the time. And so uh, there's Gar Saxon, and... Yeah, he'll be good to run with the Mandalorians. And so it's really giving you a lot right off the bat for starter stuff. Like, it's it's really, uh, I'm really encouraged. Now, let's take a quick look at the units. Um, I didn't buy these because I didn't know how much difference there is from this and the stuff you get in the full pack. And if, if there's no difference, then it's better to buy two full packs than buying these individually. Um, but that's only my way of, because I'm cheap. And so if they don't come with anything new, then why would I buy this? And so you can see the, the units. And so there's, and there you are. And you would have two of those because it comes here. Now, maybe this is what they're doing to make you buy it because here it does say, this pack pay everything you need to add one man and super commandos unit to your shadow collective. Now, super Canada makes you think, well, maybe they're going to do it so they can be an Imperial army later because that's what they were called there. Um, seven plastic minifigures, one unit card. Now with seven plastic minifigures, that's a weird amount because if they've got four plus a heavy, um, that's going to be a really powerful Mandalorian army. That's like really big compared to the uh, Rebel ones. So that's why I'm wondering if there should be two unit cards and kind of like a sniper units and stuff have um, three command cards. Um, and so what are these command cards for? Are these that work for Rook Cass? If not, why wouldn't her be in there? See, it says Rook Cass. Why wouldn't those command cards be in that other set? So is, are they just making you buy this set to get the command cards? Um, which would be crazy to do with having just one model. Um, eight upgrade cards, 14 set of tokens, and insert sheet. Uh, so if that's what they're doing, that is kind of, you know, dirty, dirty pool. Doing that just to buy. Now the Black Sun, um, the interesting thing here is, if they'll show it, I will. Um, there's the Black Sun Enforcer things. Uh, if they show the back of the box, uh, those are good sculpts. We've seen those before. Um, this is the key here. Uh, it shows you that they can be played with Imperial and Separatist. Uh, and again, it has the upgrade cards. So you are got to ask yourself, is it? But they're all the same sculpts as in the other one. So you're like, do I have to buy this for the upgrade card? I don't know. I really don't know. I hope not. I hope they didn't go down that road. And because uh, that's just dirty if they did. The cool thing about this card pack, they show it in, the, in their um, Atomic Mass uh 
stuff is that there is a new A5 card that allows it to be played with other factions. Um, the factions are grayed out, so I don't know what factions they are. I think it's just going to be some of the new factions and, of course, the Rebels. So you got A5 card. Uh, this is giving you the command cards for all three of those bounty hunters, um, and it's kind of giving you some gold things. But one of the things that you saw in the, one of the pictures that I thought was kind of cool is that um, you got Vader standing in front of uh, the bounty hunters, and... You know, right over side was Dangar. And so I'm wondering, is are we going to be getting Gangar soon? So it would be interesting to see um, what they have to offer with this as they, we go ahead. Uh, so that's kind of the... I, I really like uh, where they're going with this. And uh, so I've already pre-ordered all my stuff. Um, and I'm sure most of you guys are going to jump on that quickly. Uh, I think the way to probably go is to core boxes again like you do for everything else but i hesitated i didn't buy two only bought one um because i hesitated on what um comes in those core and what comes in those separate boxes so once i find out a little more information about that i will probably lean to which way i'm gonna go and i'll i'll release in a video on how to get into shadow collective and the best way to do it for the cost effectively and so that's this this is the video just talking about the announcements and uh getting your order into asthma day because that's uh kind of cool to be able to do get it in and get hopefully get it there as soon as possible and so i'm always looking to see what else we can we can find out and uh if you've created it this far Please take the time to like and subscribe and be a part of what we're doing here and continue to help us get to 1,000. Uh, we're at 350, and we would love to be um, pushing 500 by the next couple months and then even get into 1,000. But it takes you guys liking and subscribing, sharing it, and uh, making it available to everybody. Well, thank you, and I uh, can't wait for our Shadow Collective to come. It's exciting times to be a Legion player.